we have with us uh, dr anthony marner pinu senior materials and application engineer at elementum 3d us who will be talking regarding the journey of elementum 3d over the years hello my name is anthony marner pinu i'm a senior materials and application engineer for elementum 3d in erie colorado elementum 3d is an additive manufacturing materials expert we're located in erie colorado just north of Denver and east of Boulder. Who is Elementum 3D? Elementum 3D is a company focused on introducing materials freedom to additive manufacturing to free all users to push the limits of what is possible. Some of the key people involved with Elementum 3D are our CEO and founder, Jacob Nectarline, our Chief Technology Officer, Jeremy Eiten, our CFO, Brent Boyer, VP of Sales, Steve Wagner, and myself, Anthony Manorbino. Senior Materials and Application Engineer. Elementum 3D's facilities include two locations. First location, located our headquarters, is house, houses two EOS M290s, an EOS M400-1, and an SLM 280 printer. We have industrial size blenders for doing hundreds of tons of material per week, as well as a second facility that includes three EOS M400-1 printers. Today, I would like to speak about materials development in AM and the effect of reactive additive manufacturing, RAM, technologies in materials development. Elementum 3D has a patented technology termed reactive additive manufacturing. What is reactive additive manufacturing? Well, this is a process that utilizes exothermic chemical reactions to form product phases in situ during our additive manufacturing process. Ceram so technology synthesizes target phases for nucleation and dispersion strengthening. Elementum 3D's materials overcomes previously unsolved issues of hot tearing, solidification cracking for high demand alloys. The result is 3D printable aluminum that matches or exceeds properties of comparable wrought alloys. How does this technology work? So RAM technology starts with solidification and nucleation in aluminum alloys. So solidification can, can incur extensive supercooling, which will alter the way the metal nucleates grains. Two types of grain nucleation can occur during solidification, homogeneous nucleation and heterogeneous nucleation. Both types of nucleation are governed by the thermodynamic quantity Gibbs free energy, which defines the nuclei's favorability to grow and form the crystalline lattice grains that make up the metal's microstructure. Gibbs free energy takes into account the enthalpy of heat change in the system as well as the entropy disorder of the atoms or the molecules in the system. The general equation for Gibbs free energy, seen in the slide here, is the temperature with the temperature in Kelvin is the entropy change or disorder in the system. Homogeneous nucleation can be described as formation of a lattice structure within the confines of a liquid. When the above equation is portrayed graphically, as in the spherical sphere on the left, the activation free energy is observed to be associated with a critical radius, where the stability and continued growth of the nuclei becomes favorable. Typically, this is determined by differentiating with respect to the radius and setting it equal to zero. This will give the value of the critical radius. For this value, there is no change in the free energy and nuclei growth beyond size radius becomes imminent. Heterogeneous nucleation or pre on pre-existing surfaces within a liquid allows a metal to readily nucleate with minimal undercooling. This type of nucleation occurs on pre-existing surfaces. For instance, mold walls, impurities, inoculants. The figure on the left, expresses a conceptual model of heterogeneous nucleation on a flat surface. In heterogeneous nucleation, the surface energy component is a relationship between three different surface interfaces, it's interface energies, and the wetting angle. The energies are still related to the above equation and can therefore be compared directly to homogeneous nucleation. The figure on the right, shows a quantitative comparison of the activation free energy and the critical radius of the two types of nucleation, where you see heterogeneous nucleation for the same radii occurs at a much lower energy. 
So many aluminum alloys are found to solidify in dendritic structures. These structures are oftentimes the result of large solidification temperature ranges where primary phases are solidified first in a dendritic or tree-like structure. While the remaining liquid in the material backfills the space between the dendrites. Aluminum is known to have relatively large coefficient of thermal expansion and will shrink as it solidifies and cools. The image on the left depicts the primary dendrite formation as commonly seen in aluminum alloys, leaving the regions between dendrites free from the remaining liquid in the system to fill. While the material cools, the solid grains begin to shrink and solidify secondary phase cannot adequately backfill into these voids, creating hot tearing and zipper-like failures within your materials. Our RAM technology enables printability and performance in these materials. The microstructural images really highlight the benefits of RAM technology. The picture traditional aluminum alloy was designed for rot production and was not suitable for printing due to severe hot tearing. The left image are shows the unmodified traditional alloy showing large columnar grains and hot tearing. The same base alloy with RAM additions is shown on the right. The alloy now has excellent printability and properties due to the fine grained equiax microstructure. The sample on the left wasn't so unstable that it literally just broke off the plate without even any mechanical efforts. An example of the material properties that are achieved with RAM show that we can achieve the rot properties of many materials. Our A1000 RAM 10 material shows shown here in the fatigue SN curve compared against ALSI 10 MG with properties that are superior. And on the right, we have a fatigue curve of 6061 RAM 2 material printed by Elementum 3D compared against 6061 T6 MM PDS material data, showing an equivalent property being done through additive manufacturing. Our high performance RAM aluminum alloys. Elementum 3D used patented reactive manufacturing technology to solve a lot of these problems. We've provided printable aluminum metal matrix composites with high specific stiffness and other beneficial properties. We have a family of aluminum alloys that are outlined in the spider chart, showing how we can engineer materials to your needs. Depending on the RAM co concentrates, we can design a material to have high elongations, higher yield strengths, better at temperature properties, or better print speeds. So using this technology, Elementum 3D wanted to ensure our materials could provide the benefit of powder recycling while still maintaining the quality we promised to our customers using three different studies of our 6061 RAM2, 2024 RAM2, and a high density Inconel 625 RAM2 material, respectively. We were able to confirm that our materials stood up to the challenge. These techniques also allows for larger, safer particle sizes for storing and handling that form the beneficial submicron reinforcements during the printing process. So here we will go through a powder segregation study on 6061. We will look at the consistency of particle chemistry and size distribution in our 2024 RAM2, and then we will look at the mechanical performance in Econel 625 RAM2 using our RAM technology. So first, we can look at powder chemistry and size distribution, which has remained consistent. With the development partner, we also ensured maintenance of particle size and chemistry after multiple builds in an SLM280 printer, outfitted with powder supply unit. After multiple builds using our 2024 RAM2 powder over a period of five months and 70 cycles of sieving without refeshing with new powders, our material was found to have a similar particle size range as the new powder and preserved chemistry that was in spec. This confirmed that our material not only achieves consistent strength values, but also remains well mixed 
with the same particle characteristics as new powder. The mechanical properties were also shown to maintain, be maintained in our nickel alloy family. In a study performed by a team of students at Colorado School Mines and our engineers at Elementum 3D, our Inconel 625 nickel alloy with 2% ceramic reinforcement was evaluated based on tensile properties printed with recycled powder. Following a first build printed with new or virgin powder, the used powder was topped off with an additional new powder to maintain a 25 kilogram consistent build uh, volume. Powders were tumbled multiple times in between builds and then reintroduced to the machine. This was done for each build up to nine builds and reused. The resulting tensile properties and bars taken from the first, second, and eighth reuse in figure four and five show consistent strength values above 1225 megapascals for ultimate tensile strength and 850 megapascals for yield strength, both which are higher than those reported for rot plate of the same material according to manufacturer data sheet. These results indicate that not only the resilience of our material over multiple builds, but also our capability to outperform other manufacturing techniques with our materials and methods. Now I just would like to show you a few of the material sets we have available um, is MMCs with some properties that we've been able to attain. So we started with our base aluminum materials, a, a 1000 series RAM 10. This material shows incredible high stiffness to weight ratio for a material without the need for a heat treatment with, uh, with also excellent strength at temperature. Here's another good example of the aluminum 1000 RAM 10 and its material properties up to 300 degrees Celsius. Other aluminum alloys that we work with, A2024 RAM 2 with superior properties that beat or meet existing rot materials in our RAM 2 concentrations. As we increase our RAM, we can also increase the stiffness of the material and engineer parts for different applications. Again, this is just another example of the material properties maintained using additive manufacturing 2024 RAM material in the as-built and heat-treated conditions. Our 6061 RAM 2 is one of our most popular aluminums. It suffices many different applications and now with the availability of printing this material has become very popular and very fun material to print with. Not only does the RAM technology improve properties or maintain properties within these high strength aluminum alloys, it also allows us to increase our print speeds. We've been able to increase up to 67% due to the reactive additive component in the materials. We are also developing a family of 7,000 series aluminums. 7050, 7075, and as well mentioned earlier, some of our nickel super alloys have also benefited from our RAM technology. You can see that we have also improved our yield strengths by almost 2x, introducing a RAM technology to the standard print in Inconel 625. This technology is also being used for higher temperature nickel super alloys. Elementum 3D has two of, three, two of the three approved AM reinforced aluminum alloys available for use in 2021 Formula One season. Very proud to have our 6061 RAM 2 and 2024 RAM 2 as qualified materials for Formula One. Elementum 3D has many other materials as well available. We also work with pure elements such as copper, tantalum, and aluminum. We have some unique materials such as Invar 36 and some high strength steels, W360 tool steel. I'd like to thank you for your time today. And if there's any questions, please reach out to me, Anthony at elementum3d.com. And I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Thanks again for your time. Thank you for the amazing session. Hope you have learned a lot from this session. 